killer. If it's survivor, I'll do a survivor. Uh, kind of like that. Just so I uh, basically get through more builds. Because sometimes you'd give loads of killer builds, but then I'd be doing a survivor, and the survivor builds were always mine. And then sometimes I wouldn't even get through all your builds because you give loads of killer builds, for example. So it seems smart doing it this way. I'm at least testing it just to see, you know, how you think or what you think. How we feel about it. Alright, so I have no one to loop right now, so... Actually, this is, um... Never mind. I should went to a safe pallet. That's sad. Uh... Okay, interesting. Waste it as well? No. That's the best I can do. Is it, is it enough? Still ain't enough. <laughs> it's died so bad. <laughs> Poor Freddy, man. I hit her with both anti-loops and change the loop direction. It's still, <laughs> still enough to catch her. <laughs> nice. Misdirection. Oh, she's dead on still? Wow, she didn't even use dead hard either? <laughs> what? <gasps> I thought at least she used dead hard. She didn't. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> She got hit by both my portals, didn't even have to use dead hard and got around to the pallet again. Oh well. We should maybe do this to see if we can get some dead mans. At least this doesn't slow you down when you're doing that. That's the pulse. Oh, what the hell? I got confused then. Okay, we're all dead hard, because everyone has it. Except this guy. <laughs> everyone has it, except this guy. Do I have a tear list somewhere? Yeah. Uh, nurse. That's it. Pop. Uh, Lava, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. That's a free hit. She messed that up. You see what I mean? Like how it's up to them to make the mistakes. They need to make the mistakes for me to capitalize. I can see when they've made the mistake, but if they don't make the mistake, I can't do all about it. <laughs> Except, unless I'm nurse. If I'm nurse, it doesn't matter. I can get them without them making mistakes. Mm, not the best drop. It did slow down for zero reason. But she can make this and it's quite safe. Yeah. And then she's got a god pallet here. Let's get rid of the god pallet. Oh! That were a big mess up. Hmm. Oh, whatever. I might be able to hit her, I don't know. And then has got a thing here where I need to break. Actually, I don't need to break that. That's actually unsafe. She's got a god pallet to my right. Let's leave her now. Got another god pallet. It's just wasting time at this point. Hit on her. Nice, she thought I spawned there and I didn't. Ah, ah, dead odd, yep. Oh, yep, dead odd, love. That's why I left her. Like, where she were running, I didn't have any gameplay. I might as well uh, wait until I do. So I did, and it worked out. A big part of being able to play weak killers against better survivors is knowing where to chase. Seriously. There's so many spots which you have no input in. And if you don't know that, you're going to spend loads of time at these spots where you can't actually get anyone. So it's so important to know where these spots are. Might be able to get a few inches here for free. Wow, we're a really good dead hard, holy 
fuck, she did it exactly when she needed to. You saw that shit. Fucking hell, sweat. <clears throat> That hard. Didn't. I was gonna say it didn't dead hard panic drop, but she did panic drop a bit there. Freddy is an OP. None of the killers that have been called OP are actually OP. It's just very casual players who play with other very casual players do very bad versus them because they're very casual at the game. And they don't see that their input of being really bad and really ineffective in the game is the reason why they're losing to these killers. They just think, oh no, it's just the killers. The killers are too strong. Ah! Nice. Uh, uh, uh. That's Bill Couches itself. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's the strongest. It's not terrible, though. It's just the, the only problem is... Um, Dead man. Not dead man. Uh, deadlock. Oh. Get her off that germ. Oh, she let go. Smart. I thought she was still on it. Did I slow down? He ran away from it. From back. Nice. Made a mistake. The classic. Nice. He were down. He dead order though, so now he isn't. Boom, 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 boom. He was down, but now he isn't because of dead heart. <clears throat> yeah, if you if you want to talk about something what's overpowered, dead heart. Even though I use it, I can see how. It's kind of a broken perk. It basically gives if they if a survivor uses it correctly, it gives a survivor free hits every chase. That's that's basically what it does. No, I, I need to hit survivors three times now. Every time they have it. People just use it for distance. The best players use it for distance, yeah. No one uses it for iframes. You use it for iframes right at the very end. Uh, when you're just trying to ta uh, waste the killer's time. <laughs> no more dead out, right? Good. It's to stop two gens from popping at the same time. I need to get this. Good. 50%. Boom. Really? Huh. She has deliverance too. Deliverance turns um, the game into uh, 5v1. Do you know why I would think that? Because no one needs to go for the save. They could just carry on with the gens. So it's like a, another survivor who just appeared out of nowhere. Got the save, right? Nice, my existence. So, him doing that turned the game into a 5v1 for a second. Can I misdirect that? No. Just waiting there? No. Oh, I messed that up. She uh, gave me the opportunity and I fucked up. But she realized that I can get this pallet drop and still get her. <clears throat> nice. She'll have that odd though. 
There we go. Oh, she has an insta-heal as well. So she has borrowed time in a bottle too. She might have dead on after that. So this is going to be four hits I need to get on her. There we go. That should slow her enough that I can get around. Maybe. There's an isn't. Just running off my ability. Ooh, nail her. So five hits, because I need to hit a teammate to get to her. She has to use dead hard, yeah. There's uh, two hits on him, because he dead hard the first hit. You get the gist. Very fair gameplay. Game's not fair. That's, that's why they stop really thinking about it. I'm just kind of uh, playing, play by playing. Oh, she has a god pal. I have no man game there. I've, uh... Oh, she messed up! <laughs> she has dead on, right? She's just dead ordered. <laughs> she got back even after the mess up. Oh, shit's rough, man. Now I need to get rid of my bloodlust. This is why you can't take it serious. Because it's just so, uh, so unfair for a lot of the killers. With how, uh, how much crutches there's another god pallet. I have no man game. Uh, for how many crutches the uh, survivors have. This is why it makes me laugh when they have ego. I need to go after this guy now. We got rid of that god pallet. He'll not have dead hard again. He'll, he's still okay. He got dead hard back, I guess. And these guys, even after all these crutches, at the end, not all, but some, will think that they're amazing. You know? Even though they've just, like, constantly just crutch after crutch after crutch after crutch after crutch. <laughs> but that's the game, man. Would be, it would be nice for more survivors to have self-awareness about it. And some do. But the ones who don't, and think they're like gods, it's so cringe. Anyway, GG. Uh, see if they go for a borrowed time save here. So th there is something they could do here, which I physically can't stop if they do it right. Where one of them gets hit, and then another one goes for borrowed time. Uh, and I can't do anything about it. It's a free escape as for a Versa Mouse 1 killer. And it looks like they're trying to attempt it now. They could also body block me so I can't even get a grab on someone. That didn't even hit her. It hit the wrong person. Nice, you don't have borrowed. Alright, that's that's gonna be a confirmed kill then. Oh yeah, there's also that too. When they go for the grab and let go, the game uh, makes you hit the person you didn't want. I don't know why she did that, I was stupid. Pop. Not bad. Not bad hooks. As I say, I'm just doing a play by play. I don't give a shit about any of this anymore. I'm, I'm just giving you uh, information of kind of how the game is. Uh, and the tools and things that they have. They also have DS. Uh, so a certain distance, they'll be able to use DS on you. Uh, if, if BT... Oh, BT... If that becomes base... You physically will not be able to get survivors um, at end game when there's three of them. Just all they need is three survivors. One on the hook and two going for the save. As a mouse one killer, you will not be able to get them. It will be 100% escape. Versus good survivors, obviously. I've waited long enough, right? Yeah. They're gonna try and body about the calm. Oh, they messed up. What the fuck? They got like nine hooks or something.
Yeah, watch the streamers who want to play a survivor. Yeah, I, can't, I couldn't handle that. A lot of them are so oblivious to... There'll be some who aren't. There'll be some chill ones and stuff, but there's... There, there's uh, there's definitely some who are just so oblivious to the difficulty and the unfairness in killer. And they see the game as a 1v1, and that's how they base, like... Uh, their, their viewpoint, so it's like... Oh, you think killer's unfair? Well, what about camping? Well, yeah, the game's not a 1v1. Like, the killer camping, you don't do shit. There's three others doing objectives. I think that says it all, though, really. This person leaving. <laughs> the tea bag like they did something amazing so i mean it's embarrassing in my opinion but it's whatever uh geek josh thank you for the four months uh lava thank you for the pri uh the sub as well thank you man Um... 